Why our girlfriends are good for our health. All you need to know about summer beers. When to splurge or save while building your wardrobe. Good morning and welcome to Life Love Shopping. I'm Andrea Jackson. And I'm Rachel Kay. You ready to do some Life Love and Shopping? Yes, I am. Let's we need to it. Let's start yes. the week off right. Ladies, we are starting this morning off with a little eye candy. Christmas just arrived early thanks to The Gap and Nylon Magazine. The Gap has just released its 2012 lookbook for the holidays, so we are having a look at the trends for menswear, and more importantly, the men. With plenty of heavy outerwear, cozy knits, dark denim styles, the upcoming collection sure to keep your man nice and warm this winter. Big cozy sweaters, cool fog colors, khaki cords and colored denim. Top the holiday trends for men and check out the super chic lace up boots with dress shoe style. And we all need to have a good girlfriend, but there are reasons why they are so important. Good friends improve your health. Studies found women who work out with a friend are 45% more likely to exercise than those who sweat solo. And tell it straight, when you're going through something serious, a real friend will encourage you to seek out help, whether it's with a mental health professional or another support system. It's called tough love, baby. <laughs> yeah. Good friends are also stress busters. Findings from a UCLA study show that a woman's social nature reduces her risk of disease, lowers her blood pressure, heart rate, and cholesterol. And we'll be sharing some of our favorite girlfriend movie clips with you throughout the show today. Another girl's best friend can sometimes be powered by D batteries, and you could even make a career out of it. Get your applications in now for Sex Toy Tester. Check this out, it pays 40 grand a year. Every week, a box full of the latest toy tech gadgets will be delivered to your doorstep. You try the adult toys, rate them, and you get paid. Here's a random fact. China produces 70% of the world's sex toys. Only 2% of those toys are made in the USA. Think you're right for the job? Well, there is a quiz to find out if it is the right fit for you. We will link you to it on our website. Happy testing. Good luck. Yes. <laughs> One woman is breaking down barriers and heading into the history books. Yes, Bollywood actress Sherlyn Chopra is the first Indian woman to pose nude in Playboy, and she'll also be the first Indian playmate in nearly 60 years. Chopra reportedly has the cover of the November issue. But get this, Playboy is actually banned in India, but she is quoted saying that she wouldn't miss the opportunity of posing nude for the world's most established adult magazine. She is gorgeous. Beautiful. Another woman famous for her spread and Playboy actress and host Jenny McCarthy is also making headlines. She's on the cover of the July issue. What's most shocking is McCarthy admitted to letting her private parts go on natural circa the 1970s. <laughs> her reasoning, so nobody sees anything. <laughs> Good reason. <laughs> McCarthy did the cover to celebrate her 40th birthday. And she looks pretty fabulous. Yeah. And if you don't want to bring back that part of the 70s, we've got <laughs> your guide to all the hair removal methods, starting with waxing. It's a great option if you want to stay stubble free for a long time. It can last up to six weeks, but you'll want to avoid it if you're actually prone to breakouts. And then of course, shaving, lightening quick and easy, but you'll have to do this fairly often, but you risk painful razor burn or nicks. And then tweezing, great for spot treatments when stray hairs crop up. And your pain will be magnified though if you pluck in sensitive areas. And then depilatory creams, they cover a large area and dissolve hair in minutes and it lasts longer than shaving, but not as long as waxing. But if left on too long, you can actually get a nasty burn. Looking for the best ways to get beautiful this summer? Our next guest has the Beauty 411. Joining us this morning is Star Magazine's fashion and beauty director, Cheryl Kramer K. Good morning, Cheryl. Good morning, Andrea. So since we are showing so much skin, how do we make it great? Well, yeah, you are showing a lot more skin and the heat and the sun can leave it kind of parched, which is why I am loving the Dove Summer Care Body Wash. It uses Dove Nutrium Moisture, which gives your skin that kind of lightweight hydration that you're looking for this time of year so that your skin is going to feel soft and smooth and you're really going to want to show it off. And that is available at drugstores. So if you're showing that skin, you also want to make sure you shave that skin. And my favorite razor really of all time is the Chic Quattro for Women Trim Style. It has a four blade razor on one side and the other has a waterproof battery powered bikini trimmer. Ooh. Now I use this and I find, yeah, it's amazing. I find that I can go a day or two without shaving afterwards because it gives me such a close shave. And it's $10.99 at drugstores. And if you go to the uh, Chic Quattro for Women 
Facebook page. You can play their Dare to Mash game and you can get a coupon for your new trim style. Any other shaving also tips? Also for your shave. Oh yeah, I've always, I always use shaving cream because it really does give you a better shave and fewer nicks. Um, and I like the Skintimate Shave Gel. It's got olive butters and vitamin E that are going to give you extra silky legs. And this summer Skintimate came out with four new limited edition holographic cans. There are three different flavors and one extra one for dry skin and that's just $2.79 at drugstores. So let's also talk about makeup. My favorite look is a bold eye and a glossy lip for summer and my pick is the Mark Gloss On Lip Gloss. It just gives you a really sheer pretty sheen that helps your lips also look a little bit fuller. It comes in four shades that you can use alone or over lipstick for a little extra shine and those are $10 at meetmark.com. And my fingers favorite product for summer is the Avon Nailwear Pro Plus Nail Enamel. Avon has come out with 45 new shades, each of which give you 12 days. That's a pretty great promise oh, of yeah. high shine ding resistant color. I actually have on the Tang Tastic shade right now. And these are $6 at Avon.com and through your Avon representatives nationwide. Don't you love the name of nail polish colors? Isn't that, wouldn't that be a dream job? <laughs> I know. I wish I could just sit in a room and fantasize about right. nail shade. <laughs> I know. All right, Cheryl, thank you so much. We've got all the information Thanks. and all the beauty tips that Cheryl has just mentioned. All you need to do is head on over to our website. You'll find all the info right there. Now you know how to look your best, so now you should eat the best by shopping at farmer's markets. Here is a starter guide for you. Know your seasons. If you know a bit of what to expect when you get to the market, making decisions at each stall is a lot easier. Go early or go late. For the best selection, early birds get the worm. For the best deals, though, you want to go later in the day when they're trying to get rid of their produce. And then bring big bags and small change. Some vendors offer bags, but they tend to be thin and flimsy and fall apart. Vendors will make change for you, but your purchases will go much faster if you have exact change. Yeah, the big bag or the rolling cart is definitely a plus. Are you in a cooking rut? The blog Aggieskitchen.com has some souped up ways to get you out of your Monday meal blues. First up, watch TV. Food Network and TiVo go together like wine and cheese. Reruns of Julia Child, anyone? Uh, browse your cookbook shelf. You know you got a dozen of them. Magazine aisle, also good, or your local library's cookbook section. Clean out your spice cabinet and pantry. It's almost guaranteed you'll find a couple of ingredients or spices you didn't know you had. Throw out anything that's expired. And challenge yourself. After you clean out the pantry, why not challenge yourself to making a meal using ingredients from your pantry? Hungarian goulash, anyone? Once you start, you just can't stop. We're talking about the website Pinterest, of course. While you're scrolling, you can use it to actually help shed some pounds as well. Certified nutritional consultant Carol Cottrell is with us this morning. Welcome. Thank you. Good to be here. Yes, we're glad to have you. So a lot of us excessively shop and overeat all the time. Why do we do that? I think because we want to dissociate from the things that went on during the day that we managed to shove back down. It seems like at the end of the day they pop back up and when they do we're really uncomfortable with that. Right. And there's so many options when it comes to online shopping. There's so many sites. It's endless. Right. Um, and so is Pinterest. But it can actually help us, right? All that fun time we spend on there can help. It can. I mean, I found this out because I'm an addict of Pinterest. <laughs> Me too, it's okay. <laughs> but here's what I think happens, especially to creative people, when their minds are not occupied with something good and creative or the busyness of the day, then anxiety sets in. And so that creative energy ends up coming out in the form of something that's maybe negative, like mindless eating or obsessive shopping. What right. Pinterest does is it allows another avenue for that creativity because it really is a creative endeavor. When you look at your boards, when they're all finished, they look so beautiful and it helps you identify what you love. So whether yeah. it be food or home decor or shopping, or, yeah, or any of those things. You, you kind of sit back and look at it and say, wow, this is who I am. It, it involves yeah. choice rather than that mindless behavior. 
it's almost like a vision board. You can use totally. it as your own vision yeah. board. Okay, so what should we be pinning then? What kind of items should we be, what kind of boards should we be making? Well, it's interesting. In the old days, as a nutritional consultant, I would ask my clients when they had that mindless eating, hand-to-mouth behavior to find something else like knitting right. because <laughs> it was, you know, yeah, it could occupy your yeah, hands and, you know, you came out with something beautiful and gratifying. But um, now I say pin what you love, pin your interest, get more in touch with who you are, what you like. That's great. Thanks yeah. so much, Carol. We really Thank you. appreciate it. To check out her, Carol's boards, we'll link you, of course, on our Pinterest page at Life Love Shop. Happy pinning. Still more to come here on Life Love Shop and get the best essentials for back to school. That's next and all you need to know about summer beers on Life Love Shopping. Welcome back to Life Love Shopping. A few BFF movie moments we're sharing yes, throughout the show today. Great. If you emptied your liquor supply this weekend and need to restock, here's a few tips on how to store your adult beverages. Yes, drinks sold at room temperature should be kept in the pantry. Same goes if they're sold in refrigerator cases, keep them in the fridge. But when it comes to wine, red or white, uh, it, in the pantry, you can stay one year unopened. If it's in the fridge, you can have three days open. But these time frames, of course, apply to everyday table wines. And when it comes to your champs and sparkling wine, Chomps. the champs, it's fun to say, uh, you can leave it in the pantry for one year unopened and lasts only one day open in the refrigerator. Yeah, sadly, the sparkling stuff only lasts a day. A uh, liquor. Now, if it's a brown spirit, such as a whiskey or a scotch, it can last indefinitely. Only two years for clear spirits uh, like gin and vodka, which reminds me I have some vodka that's just gone bad. Uh, <laughs> beer, bottles and cans, you can hold them in the pantry for up to nine months unopened in the fridge. An unopened beer, an open can of beer lasts about a day. Looking for a way to cool off, why not sip on an ice cold beer? Logan Hurley from World of Beer is with us this morning. Welcome. So nice to see you, Rachel. Glad to have you. Thank you. So what is going to be the most refreshing beer? Uh, really, I mean, they're all refreshing. Okay. Uh, that's kind of the whole point. You're going to keep hearing the word I'm going to say over and over again is session. Session. Uh, think, that's the first one? Uh, well, all of them are actually sessionable oh, styles. So that just basically means you can drink a lot of it um, and, like and have fun all day. Um, so the first one we're going to talk about is the Full Sail Session Lager. This is actually out of Oregon, mm -hmm. um, and this is just a great light beer, uh, something you could, like I said, sip on all day. Uh, it's going to go well with anything light, chicken, veggies, Bar uh, fish, uh, barbecue. barbecue, all that stuff. This okay. is going to be one of those one of those beers that you're going to want to just sip on all day. It's not overwhelming on the palate by any means. A good pool beer. Exactly. And well, maybe not with a glass, but... No, no, and a solo cup. <laughs> and yeah. then... Brooklyn, that's the, the next one. The Brooklyn, yes. This is the uh, the Brooklyn Summer. This is actually an English style pale ale. Uh, so compared to a lot of American style pale ales, it's not going to be overly hoppy. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to get a lot of sweet citrus notes, a lot of lemon, uh, but without that overwhelming, you know, palate crunching. That's what uh, the kind hop flavor. flavors exactly. make it like. Okay. So it's going to be a good citrusy one. This is going to be good with. Uh, you know, anything, again, light stuff really is where we're going for. So it's going to be that chicken again, barbecue, mm -hmm. um, all of that stuff's going to be great with this Brooklyn summer. And then the next one, Terrapin. What's this one all Terrapin about? Terrapin is probably the second most, uh, as far as full-bodied flavor goes. This is an IPA, but it's, it's a sessionable IPA. Mm -hmm. um, so they use five different types of hops from all over the world. Uh, Galaxy hops from New Zealand and Australia, wow. and this beer is just phenomenal. It's uh, it's got a full-bodied IPA flavor, mm -hmm. but again, it's less than five percent alcohol. Okay, so you can and enjoy. And that means what? You're not going to get wasted too quickly. <laughs> exactly. Well, to put it in perspective, a typical Budweiser, like okay. a Bud Heavy, is going to be right around five percent. Okay. So all of these beers float within four point two to around six percent alcohol. Okay. So you so won't get too tipsy. Exactly. You can just have a little relax. Yeah. People get confused okay. sometimes that beer can actually. Uh, catch up pretty quick. Yes. Uh, the, What's next, the next one. This is uh, Anderson Valley Summer Solstice. This mm -hmm. again, a lot of flavor in this one. It's a cream ale, um, so you're going to get a lot of uh, caramel notes, 
Uh, you've got chicken is going to be great with this Salads one barbecue. And salmon. Exactly. And uh, finally, the last one here Harpoon. is actually a Kolsch style, so it's an ale, so it's got what? a lot of flavor. Okay. Um, it's from Harpoon, but it's going to be very light in body. Okay. Uh, it's not going to be too citrusy or anything like that, just a good light drinking beer. So we kind of started light, finished light, and all these are going to be good for this sweet. summer. That's great. And that one you can take to the beach with a can, too, oh, so that's always a plus. Can, that's clutch, right? Mm -hmm. And just get a little cruisy for exactly. it. Exactly. Thanks so, so much, you're Logan. So very We've welcome. got you linked to all of these beers, of course, on our website. Well, cheers. Only one month left of the carefree season. You can still have lots of fun, especially with some of these ideas from Cosmo. Visit a dive bar and team up with your man for a few rounds of beer pong. Maybe kick up your cowboy boots and go to an outdoor country music concert or head indoors and learn to line dance. Kidnap your girlfriends and then head to a family fun park. It'll be a blast to ride go-karts or hit each other with paintballs all day. You can also head to your local salon with a friend to get a nail art manicure, help each other pick out some crazy designs. Eat outside as often as possible. When it starts to get chilly, you will be nostalgic for noshing on the patio. It may be summer, but the back to school shopping season is in our sights and our next guest is helping you make the grade. Joining us this morning is Hot Moms Club founder Jessica Dene. Good morning, Jessica. Good morning. So why should we be thinking about back to school shopping right now? Because we're still in the midst of summer and swim lessons and camp even. <laughs> I know, believe it or not, many kids start school mid-August and the companies are starting their sales right now. You don't want everything to be picked over, so it's a great time to think ahead, get your shopping done no matter what day your kids start school. And the college students, you know, they start first, so those college-bound teens, you have to remember their space is very, very small, so you want to maximize it any way you can. Bed risers are great. You put them under each bed post. It lifts the bed up so you have room for storage bins and whatnot. So that's a great, that's an essential. Another essential for college students is a shower caddy. Often they're sharing a bathroom so they can fit all their toiletries in one place, all organized and ready to go. So whether your college student is wanting to decorate their room, their dorm room, or you have a high school student that wants to personalize their locker, or maybe you're a busy mom just like me that wants to stay organized and manage your family's schedule, I have the perfect tool for you. It's new, it's Command Clear Hooks, and these are great because it has a transparent adhesive strip that blends into walls and surfaces, and now your kids can hang their backpacks, they can hang their sweatshirts, anything, and, and you, can, you can change it as they get bigger, which is nice because the best part about it, it won't damage your walls. When you're ready to remove, you just place your hand on the top of the hook and you s slowly pull straight down just like this. Those it's are great. so easy. Easy on and isn't it great? They also have clear fridge clips, which are amazing, especially if you have a stainless steel refrigerator because magnets don't stick. So these are great. They stay on. You can put your kids' pictures. You can put your schedules or even their artwork that they bring home from school. You can find more information at command.com. Okay, what do you have for the little ones? Oh, for the little ones, I always recommend personalizing their backpacks with patches or stickers rather than putting their name on there. You can do initials, but you don't want their name because someone can call their name out and that, that child may think that they know that person when in actuality they're just reading their name off the backpack. So personalize with little glitter or stickers or, you know, there's so many great ways you can personalize a backpack without putting their name all over it. So that's a great tip for the little ones. That's a really good idea. And Jessica, how can we make uh, back to school shopping easier? You've mentioned some great products here. Well, you know, it's, it's always easy when you're organized. Take the list. A lot of times you can go online now, get the list the teachers give, make sure you have everything you need, and then you can go and get some of the fun things afterwards. A great tip I have for mom is make sure you get your camera batteries, make sure your camera is charged and ready to go because you want that first day of school picture. Oh, and there. always take the picture in the same place for context every year. I lo you love having it. It's a great thing. Oh, that's a terrific idea, definitely, so you can sort of benchmark the number of years. Jessica, thank you so much. Some great information. Whether you've got a college student or a teenager or an elementary school student, we'll have all the information and the tips available for you right on our website. Should you buy that trendy $200 neon dress or buy the knockoff? What items to splurge on and when to save? Plus, musicians can be high maintenance and look at some of the wild things they request for their dressing rooms. That's up next. Remember that time I barfed from really bad Mexican food? So gross. I hate throwing up in public. Oh, me too!
saddest song ever, I but know. it's so good. Always makes you tear up, especially when you see clips from beaches. Mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to adding to your wardrobe, when should you splurge and when should you save? We have got the answers for you. When to save. Anything super trendy this year, think neon. If it will look dated in a year, it is not worth the money. T-shirts, now you can spend 100 bucks, but why shell out the cash when you can find the same tee for a fraction of the cost? And when to splurge, a really great pair of jeans. Finding a pair of fantastic fitting, quality denim may mean stepping up to a premium brand and they will last longer. You'll also need a classic handbag. Own at least one in a classic design and made of leather is usually best. But check eBay or consignment stores. If they're well cared for, they will last as long as a new purchase. Yeah, there's always the, that favorite pair of go-to jeans that you have in the closet oh, yeah. that you grab every time, always. even though you might have a stack of 20. Yep. <laughs> Uh, celebrities don't have to worry about saving no. or splurging. Jessica Reyes from our news partner, The Daily Buzz, is going over the music industry's wildest writers. That's right, chicas and divas are known to demand some pretty crazy things in their dressing rooms. The Hollywood Reporter examines some of the most surprising and hilarious requests from music's biggest stars. We start off with the Prince's Rider. He requests that all items in the dressing room must be covered uh, by clear plastic wrap until uncovered by the artist. This is absolutely necessary. We move on to Miss Riri. Rihanna is very particular about the way she lounges. Her rider calls for a couch long enough for her to nap on along with six uh, to eight animal print pillows with no sequins. Then there's Miss Britney Spears. The pop diva has a never ending list of snacks on her rider, uh, Doritos, KFC, Pop-Tarts, Captain Crunch, and a vegetable tray. <laughs> And then there's Marilyn Manson, who knew who knew the heavy metal rocker loved gummy bears, Haribo brand, uh, brand specifically, and he requests a bald-headed, toothless hooker. I'm Jessica Reyes, and that's your celeb scoop. I'm glad Thanks, Brittany Jess. balances it out with a vegetable tray. Yes, you got to have a little bit yeah. of healthy. Well, that does it for Live Love Shopping today. Thank you so much for joining us. We're here on WeTV every weekday morning. Have a great week, everybody. Bye, guys. I mean.